Right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, after a short break. I'm here with Fifth Flaren, and we're going to jump right into the game here. It's Titan versus Luminosity, and um, yeah, we've kind of got a bit delayed here. There were some e-bot issues, but now we should be good to go here. I think the real score is about 11-5 um, at the moment, and um, Luminosity on the second half got a bit of a better start. And as I say that, they're actually losing this round um, to a pistol armor buy from Titan, which is going to be pretty the finishing move here. If Titan win this round, that's going to be bad. Anger doing a great job picking up those two kills. Pyth to take down Maniac, and it's up to Apex. Last man here in a 1v3. So they turned it around, um, but you know, Titan actually uh, coming alive in this match is great news. Yeah, for sure. And uh, oh, we do. <laughs> you you <laughs> jinxed it, Anders. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Fee, if I can uh, help it. Uh, but yeah, they. Um, 11-4 on their first half, so which is very impressive, considering that they have had issues before. And then, obviously, Luminosity with their new player, Devil Walk, um, instead of the 5. Yeah. And this is the first event, obviously. I don't even think that they have had any time to practice. No, but I was talking to Peter, and I mean, to be fair, Peter's always uh, fairly optimistic and happy about everything that happens. But um, he was saying we can already tell Devil Walk has a very different approach. He's, you know, quickly teaching us how to do better comms in general. Um, so I, I definitely think this will help the team, and actually, I would even go a step above that. I'd say this is probably going to help the whole NA scene, just getting more Europeans in uh, to, to, you know, get a bit of perspective on some things. Because, I mean, the NA scene, they do a lot of stuff really well and really cool, but there are some basic communication issues which seem to sort of haunt them again and again. Yeah, and I mean, look at Pyth, for example, right? So he was the first guy that came over to... Um, to North America, uh, not necessarily being from a top team himself, but he's he's a fragger, right? So he doesn't yeah. necessarily have the experience that like Devil Walk can actually provide to a team. So putting them two together, you're only basically helping Pyth out as well, knowing yeah. like, okay, well, is this how uh, a, you know a top team should be like communicating? Yeah, and uh, you know, just add to that because actually, I think that's that's what I was trying to hint at. There's so much talent in the NA scene when it comes to the aim that uh, if they can just get a little bit of uh, sense going, it'll be. It'll be quite helpful here. Apex is going to be taking down Lex, but Pyth is there to get the third kill of the round for himself, and he's going to leave Kenny and Maniac here. So I think the score after this round, um, don't kill me if I'm wrong, I think it's going to be 11-8 uh, yes. in favor of Titan still. Just to remind you that the E-Bot failed. That means the scores aren't updating quite uh, as they were. I think we lost the scores from the first half, which um, I believe finished 11-4. So, you know... Yeah, add a bit to that, and uh, and I think they may, we might be missing around as well. Yeah, we're missing <laughs> yeah. a few rounds, but... Uh, but yes, it's 11 to 8 right now in favor of Titan. Uh, obviously, this will be the first weapon round coming in from Titan, so we'll see. Kenny, yes, he got an up. There we go. I was going to say, he's getting an up dropped. Yeah, 11. Oh, uh, our spectator is doing wonderful work. 11 there. 7. 11 7, all right. So, so we are right. So this is yeah. basically the whole half. Okay, we can do the math. Then. Yes, we can do the math. We've got this, we've got this <laughs> working. Kenny, yes, with the AWP, but it's going to be Existence, and I thought, yeah, Apex helping out there. Somehow Existence got the kill. He was at the bottom of the towers. That's a bit weird, but um, they pick it up anyway. That's Anger going down early on in the round here, and Luminosity making their way up against uh, Catwalk. Everyone on Catwalk, in fact, it's a very big risk. That means Apex, if he just hides and stay alive, stays alive here, it's going to be really tricky. Good Molotovs into the site, and Apex may be showing himself a bit more than he needs to. He's got backup as well. He's going to get the first kill there. Existence to pick down Lex and Pyth trying the best that he can. A nice one-click headshot there on Apex. But this round, it shouldn't be winnable from here on out. Pyth going to go down and Peter's a fall last for Maniac. It's going to mean Titan will bring it to 12 rounds. Yeah, very um, fast round from Luminosity. Losing the entry first, not even bothering. It's like, we lose the entry on Dust2 on T, it's still very winnable. You can still do whatever you, whatever you plan on doing, like a B split or, you know, A split. Just, yeah, you lose that uh, that extra person, but because the map is so open. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> well, that is Oh, well, nice you can do that as well. How many people were crossing in middle from Titan? There was four people crossing. So they were going to play, what, 2B, two 2-mid, two one long? That is a, an unusual setup. Especially coming from Titan. That's a gamble that you don't often see them actually do. And that's probably the reason why, because Kenny has probably called he wants to push into B-Tunnel. Yeah. And if you end up going down, that might just cause uh, Luminosity to just think, okay, well, let's just rush it. Well, now they are going to be a man down. Luminosity in the middle there. Peter almost going down. And Kenny just walking in and getting that pick. And I feel like Kenny's been on the up and up and up lately. Uh, people were really worried once they made that AWP change. It seemed to impact him more than any other top orper. But um, he's, I think he's on his way back. Yeah, I think he just needed to adjust how, how he played with the op. And... Uh, 
obviously the first few months it's going to be difficult for him because he's not used to it. Oh, and speaking of Kenny, going to take down Devil Walk and fall back a little bit further. Actually, the grenade is going to take down Pith as well, and it's going to be 3 4 here. Hard to see how LG can make it out of this round. Maniac drops anger, and Peter is solo already, and the bomb is down on long. Lex is going to have to pull nothing short of a miracle, and it's just not happening. Triple kill for Kenny, and Peter, last man, 20 seconds. So it, this is an unwinnable round at this point. There's nothing that he could do. Um, it, it, I don't know how the rest of this match has played out, but it seems like Luminosity right now are, are having a very, very slow approach. Yeah, for sure, and um, especially when they lose the entry, just they, they don't seem to have somewhat of a plan in terms of like, okay, we lost the entry, but what can we do here? Instead of just, you, you saw there, uh, again, they actually went together on long again and yeah. just got pummeled, so... They yeah. need to spread out a little bit more. They, they still need to make Titan nervous about where they choose to rotate. Oh, they're setting up in the middle line. They got the oh. flashbangs, but the double grenade to top mid. Devil Walk instantly gone, and the rest of the team shredded as well. Low on health and um, not really sure what's going on. Good smoke, though. Going to bounce up on that headshot box, but even as they come up catwalk, they are going to run right into Kenny, who gets another shot in. And what is his score? I mean, I guess we pretty lost his uh, overall score from the first half as well, but he's a 6-1-2 and two here for the second half, and uh, we're just starting now on the seventh round, so not too bad, really. No, it's been very impactful when they actually end up going towards the A, bo uh, a bomb site. Same with uh, Apex shutting them down the yeah. two rounds be previously. So, 14-7 now we in the scoreline, if my math is somewhat on. Yes. Um, so that means it's pretty much now and over for Luminosity, which is also why you see them by the scout. And only two smoke grenades. Uh, going for HEs instead of smokes is, in my opinion, questionable. I'd, I'd much rather have them s drop those HEs and go for flashbangs then. Yeah, unless they have a plan here. I mean, considering that Kenny has the ES actually boosted on Capwalk here, chances are that by the time he gets that pick, he's just going to end up falling back, and those days that he just bought will be for nothing. Yeah, well, there's Pyth going down. Kenny with a quick peek up on Catwalk, and he should be falling back, but he's going to go for it anyway. Flashed into oh. middle and takes down Peter. That's a very nice shot. And he's going to go for it one more time. He's going to miss it this time around. C set is out, and he tries to get the spray. Lex will go down in anger to finally reply. It's a 2v2, so LG have actually brought it back here. Devil Walk going to pick up a kill as well. And now they will make their way. Scott free onto the bomb site. I'm surprised. It looked like they were getting shut down in the middle, but somehow they've actually made their way into a pretty decent position. Existence trying to catch them. He almost goes down. And Anger now has to try and clutch it. And this is probably going to be for the map here. If they lose this, they probably lose the, the match right now. Yeah, for sure. And actually, I've, I don't think I've ever seen Kenny play like that. That's very unorthodox in terms of like, yeah, you get a pick. Catwalk is a very, very hard choke point to, to actually be able to play aggressive but once they know that they're there. Good flashbacks coming in, obviously, from Titan as well, which led him to get that third kill. But it seems like, because I remember they were talking a little bit after the um, after Gfinity that they had a very long conversation, the whole team. Yeah. And they probably came to a conclusion or two where it's like, we got we to gotta switch up the way we're playing. Something's got to give and... They make it out of this round as well. Titan just playing it smartly in that 2v2. Um, existence looked like he was taking a bit of a risk there. I mean, generally, if you're in a 2v2 and you're on the CT side, if you try and fight before the bomb goes down, you're essentially allowing them to have two people fighting that fight, whereas if you wait until one of them is planting, it yep. might be a bigger chance. But um, they were feeling confident and they have the rounds to play with. It's going to make it 15 to 7 here, and we're going to be moving into the eighth round of the second half and right into a double up setup as well for Titan. Yeah, good thing for Luminosity if they actually got the bomb down, because you will see here they can at least buy, buy the, um, the AKs and armor. Again, we see the, the HE buy from, from Anger instead of the smoke, which I really don't agree with. And look at the super aggressive double op setup. Both orbs in the middle, they flash, and then they both peek at the same time. That's also really hard to deal with. If someone, if Peter had been up there with, a, with, an, with an orb and he had actually been waiting for them, probably he would lose that fight. And over it, oh, all right. That's it. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> yeah, so that was the game. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, we have one more mantra here, so we can actually we can actually talk about what what happened. So they, so Luminosity actually lost the entry. Oh yeah, we can see the map still, but you guys can't. Yeah, so we'll we'll try and make this to the best of our abilities. We're like radio right now, Anders. I'm just radio. All right, all right. We'll try our very best. So I mean, we we know the outcome of this round. Exactly, but and how did it happen? How did it happen? Well, you're right. They have lost the one guy. You can see they're shaking hands down at the other monitor, but um. 
they are rotating back to B now, so it looks like a four-man towards B for Luminosity, where so far for Titan, they only actually have that one player holding B. Yeah, there's a guy high. I mean, RPK is in a very dangerous corner here. He's in the, in the classic corner, in the archway towards the Jeep, where you actually can't walk in. There's like a fence there. He's going to be peeking out. He goes down immediately. Existence going to get one more kill in here, but it looks like LG are about to lose a couple of more members before they can actually get the bomb down. Otherwise, they should be winning this round. And yeah, it's not good. 2v3. Yeah, yeah, and they were both very low on money or low on HP. Getting the bomb down, 2 on 3. So it's an Astapan situation. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll, we'll go to commercials in a second, but we yeah. just, we got we got to figure this out here. It's anger actually it turns into a two v two. It's looking winnable, but anger is stuck okay. at the back of the bomb side. He goes down to yeah. assistance. So that's how the round ended, two v two, and um, Titan made the retake happen. So sorry about that, guys, seven. but um, that is pretty much it. That means now finally we can move on to Titan and Navi, which should be our next match coming up, and uh, we'll get to it right after a quick break. One hour. <laughs> 